In a landmark decision aimed at eliminating financial barriers, the Ministry of Education has announced that all qualified students will have access to higher education. A statement issued by Education Cabinet Secretary Julius Migos states that Vice-Chancellors of Public Universities have been therefore been directed to admit all qualified students without exception. End of quote. The ministry has further extended the deadline for fee-related appeals to December 31st this year and provide a three-week processing time for the appeals, aiming to refine the new funding model. CS Ogamba further reaffirmed the government's commitment to an inclusive, accessible and equitable education system that leaves no student behind. This comes even as Chief Justice Mother Komi has raised concerns about the implementation of the new funding model. Komi has called for a re-evaluation of the program, adding that education should be made free by consolidating governors and MPs bursaries. When you follow, you also find that there is bursary fund given from the taxpayers' money, given to the governor, given to the women rep, given to the MP through CDF, given to the MCA. I hope none of them is here because they are going to reach me. Now, all those bursaries, how are they disbursed? Why wouldn't you put them in education and make education free for all? If this directive is anything to go by, public university management will face challenges in operating due to fee delays, which could have a ripple effect on the quality of higher education. Mariam Jahid, K24 Nairobi.